Tonight, a Valley woman victimized by unemployment fraud is looking for help as she struggles to pay bills this holiday season. News Channel 3's Jake Ingracia joins us live tonight with more on how it all happened. Jake. Karen, good evening. And tonight, the uh, uh, Employment Development Department says that there are at least a million people waiting for help with similar issues. This scam tonight leaving this Valley woman without money for months. I haven't gotten a single penny any, a, a single penny from my unemployment since September. For Caitlin Rhodes, the bills have been piling up. She's been out of work since she was in a serious car accident. My immune system is so weak from my car accident that I had no choice. So I went ahead and um, enrolled in unemployment. After taxes, she was getting about $300 every two weeks. And the process was smooth, she said, until she received a second EDD card in the mail. I was really confused because I didn't request a card. Um, it just kind of showed up in the mail. The bank said it was issued because of a discrepancy with her name and told her to use the new one. That's when all the fraud started happening. I mean, my funds were taken out of that card faster than ever. I mean, I, I've never seen anything like that. She was initially reimbursed, but the fraud continued, and she's now out thousands of dollars and struggling to find help. They always tell me, well, if it makes you feel any better, this has happened to a lot of Americans. This is happening all the time. In fact, EDD says as of last month, there were more than a million cases of identity verification complaints, which need to be processed manually. This as law enforcement across California is now uncovering what's being called possibly the worst case of fraud in state history. Investigators say inmates at county jails and prisons schemed the Employment Development Department receiving unemployment benefits using fake names and social security numbers through bogus accounts, costing taxpayers up to a billion dollars. Rhodes says she hopes she and others affected find relief quickly. I don't want anybody else to feel this way. I don't want anybody else to have this financial stress. But in the meantime, money is running out. And EDD tonight says that their top priority remains resolving those claims impacted by scammer attacks. They also say that new safeguards are in place to prevent against future fraud. Reporting live tonight, Jake Gracia, News Channel 3.